Hello and welcome back to my channel and in today's video I present to you some brand new official high resolution images by Hasbro of some of the upcoming Transformers Studio Series Deluxe Class figures. These Deluxe Class figures feature previously rumoured figures which I did do coverage on last month and did actually confirm their release of the Deluxe Class Roadbuster, Deluxe Class Jet Shatter as well as a Deluxe Class Jeep Bumblebee based on the Bumblebee solo movie. In this video today, I'm going to be giving you our first look at the official high res images and I've got to say straight away that each and every one of these releases look absolutely fantastic and I really cannot wait for these figures to come out in 2020. The first figure I'll be discussing is the Jeep version of Bumblebee based on his appearance from the opening sequence in the Bumblebee movie. As you can see here we have an image of both Bumblebee in his robot mode as well as his vehicle mode and I definitely think that this is the best deluxe class representation that we've got of Bumblebee from Hasbro based on his appearance from the Bumblebee solo movie. This is definitely the most CGI accurate figure of Bumblebee from that movie and I think that he looks absolutely incredible in his robot mode. As you can see he has a very Green accurate looking head sculpt with a fantastic chest design of the Jeep. We can also see that this figure will also include a blaster, which is something that I don't believe we see the Bumblebee use whilst in his Jeep mode, but nevertheless it is a nice inclusion and does appear to have some nice detailing. I really love the very blocky design of the lower section of the figure's legs, very accurate to what we see in the movie, and I think that the wheel placement on the back too is also very accurate. I'm also a massive fan of the figure's colour scheme, with the overall colour scheme of the figure being majoritively yellow with some black highlights to bring out some of the sharper details of the sculpt. A really awesome looking robot mode. If we move over to the Jeep mode this is an absolute fantastic looking vehicle mode and looks exactly like the Jeep that we saw in the movie. I'm exceptionally surprised at how well Hasbro have actually managed to get the Jeep mode to look. It really does look very faithful to the movie and very faithful to a real life Jeep with some incredible detailing. I'll really really be extremely eager to see some in hand images of this as these are Official images look absolutely incredible. The next figure that we have images of is Shatter in her jet mode and oh my god this figure looks absolutely remarkable and perfectly captures Shatter's appearance from that Bumblebee solo movie. Focusing on her robot mode first off, we can tell that she has an incredibly movie accurate head sculpt, something which wasn't apparent on the previous vehicle mode Plymouth release that we got. The paint deco looks fantastic on this figure with the face being very skeletal like in its structure with some silver paint apps and the red paint application from these images does appear to be a metallic like paint scheme. We can see that they have gone the extra mile despite this being the jet mode shatter and actually included some vehicle mode components specifically in the chest just so that we can in fact see the triple changing aspect of what this character is supposed to resemble. We can see the jet wings situated on her back in a very faithful movie accurate looking position which I think looks absolutely incredible. We can also see her wielding her blasters which too look really really well done and just all of the detailing in the torso also really really does look sublime. They've actually gone the extra mile and placed one of the landing gears directly in the center of her chest which is of course accurate to the movie and we've just got to take in consideration how well proportioned she truly is. Her legs are incredibly agile and are incredibly slender much like the CGI design unlike the previous release and I really think this figure looks exceptional in her robot mode. We can definitely see that Hasbro had a lot more time and a lot more care given to this figure than they did with the previous release and it's definitely going to be the best representation of Shatter, I can 100% tell you that now. Taking a look at her jet mode once again, this looks remarkable and really does look as if though it is perhaps a die cast model. It really, really does look spectacular with these massive fuel tanks at the front with a very slender nose cone. I think that the wings too are incredibly slick in their design and overall it just looks like an absolute fantastic looking jet mode and I think that the colour distribution in the jet mode too is incredibly well done. This figure as a whole looks fantastic and I really cannot wait to add this to the collection and have this figure displayed next to the car mode version of Dropkick to really complete the Decepticon duo from that Bumblebee movie. And finally, taking a look at the last figure to be announced so far, here we have the Deluxe Class Dark of the Moon Roadbuster, and honestly, this figure looks as if though he has just jumped straight out of the screen. This figure looks remarkably movie accurate and looks to be one of the best Deluxe Class Studio Series figures that Hasbro will be releasing in 2020. 
Focusing on his robot mode first, as you can see, the details here are just absolutely sublime. I think that the paint applications look remarkable. The head sculpt looks absolutely fantastic. And I really like the kind of green yellow color that they've gone for the visor. It definitely does look really, really movie accurate. I love how we've got the wheel situated on the top of the shoulders with the missile pods. That is definitely a very movie accurate look. And I like the small machine gun on the side of Roadbuster's arm. We can also pick out some nice mechanical detailing. Actually within the forearms as well which look really really cool and we can also pick out some remarkable detailing in the main torso such as the engine block and various other mechanical components as we take a look at the legs as you can see here I think that the placement of the wheels is also very accurate to the film and we've got some green and silver shins as well which look really really nice overall an absolute fantastic looking robot mode and definitely destroys the previous dark of the moon figure that we got in 2011 this figure looks so much more movie accurate and it's actually a weaponized version unlike that Dark of the Moon Deluxe figure. Talking of weaponized, moving on to his NASCAR vehicle mode. As you can see, this is fully decked out with all of the guns that we saw in that movie. And we've also got some fantastic licensing on this vehicle, which was actually present on the official prop. As you can see, we've got the Impala. We can also see some licensing on the actual racing car wheels, which looks fantastic, as well as the ATA printed on the doors, which look really, really nice. I love the sculpt of the front windscreen as well. It definitely does evoke that NASCAR look and we can see the missile pods protruding from the back it just looks like an absolute fantastic figure and to me looks as if though they've taken that human alliance roadbuster which I personally think was a fantastic figure shrunken it down giving it a more movie accurate more modernized look look to it and really really refine the sculpt to give us this figure which definitely looks to be the best representation of roadbuster that we're probably ever going to get another fantastic addition to the studio series and I really cannot wait to add him to my collection so that was my breakdown analysis of some of the new Wave 9 Transformers Studio Series Deluxe Class figures that will be released in 2020. If you haven't guessed from this analysis video so far, these figures have highly impressed me. Roadbuster looks absolutely incredible and couldn't get any more movie accurate if Hasbro tried. Shatter is an amazing improvement over the previous version. She looks exactly how she did on screen and I honestly couldn't wish for a better looking jet version of her. I think her robot mode looks incredibly streamlined and very slick much like the movie and her jet mode 2 is incredibly faithful to that movie design. She really really does look incredibly impressive and I cannot wait to get her and add her to the collection posed alongside the car mode version of Dropkick. Talking of Bumblebee movie characters I think that the Jeep mode Bumblebee also looks really really awesome as well and is very very faithful to what we see in that very brief scene in the Bumblebee solo movie. His robot mode looks really really cool and I'm really surprised at the level of detail that Hasbro went in nailing the look of the Jeep mode. These figures all look fantastic Fantastic, and I'd be really in eager to see what you thought of these releases down in the comment section below. So please be sure to let me know your thoughts on these down in the comment section below. Until my next video, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.